Hi there, it's Liz. In this video, I want to show you how to use Flipgrid. Flipgrid is a, well, it's a new to me website. I don't know exactly how new it is, but what it is is a, um, a place to post videos to share ideas. It's really good for collaboration. It's really good for listening and speaking practice. So in this task, we're just going to post a Flipgrid and um, in future levels, we'll look at how to create your own. I just want you to kind of experience what Flipgrid can do. So you have a link. You're gonna to go to that link. Now I password protected it just so that we could have kind of a safe place to explore. And um, if you've been in the task, then you know what the password is. So when I open that, it's gonna to come to this page. Now I'm gonna go back for just a second just to show you the whole idea. This is my Flipgrid page. You get one page for free. But in that page, you can post as many of these little um, flip pages as you want. So I have right here, I have a book chat one, a place for iPad idea sharing, a place for Chromebook idea sharing, and then introductions. But the link I gave you is to introductions. If you want to post on any of the other ones, feel free. The password is the same for all of them if there's a password. All right? So all I do, I come in here. Now I've typed, welcome to my Flipgrid, to practice using, post a quick video introducing yourself sharing something you enjoy. I also recorded a video of myself explaining the, inter the introduction task and giving a little more explanation. So if you wanna watch that video, you can. All you do to post a video is this. You scroll down here, you can see Helen um, is a really good sport. All I did was send her the link and say, try this out. So she and Dave posted a Flipgrid for you guys. All you do is click on add a response and it's gonna go like this. Allow it to use your camera. Okay, it's gonna show. Hello. Um, it's going to show recording, so I'm going to record this right now. Hi, I'm Liz. I'm just posting a sample Flipgrid while I'm making a video, so I hope you've watched the video. If you need more explanation, it's in the post task. All right, so that was my quick, really quick video. I'm going to tap next. Hi, I'm Liz. I'm just posting a sample Flipgrid while I'm making a video, so I hope you've watched the video. If you need more explanation, it's in the post task. So you can preview it. If I don't like it, I can trash it and make a new one. I'm going to go to next. And then it's going to ask, see look, it's recording me talking. Then it's going to ask for a picture. So, oh, that's not a good picture. I'm going to trash it. And I'll post a picture there. That's the thing that's going to show. Okay, now, I don't want to do this. Okay, so Liz H. Do I even need to? Let's see. Oh, so just last initial. Okay, now notice I'm moderating this so it won't show until I've added it. So I'll go into my admin and add that. Hang on just a second. All right, so through the magic of television, I'm going to refresh my screen. And password, and there we go. My video is showing right here as soon as it loads. All right. So that's all there is to Flipgrid. Hopefully you can see the potential of having a collection of videos of different people with ideas. I would love it if you would come in here, post about a book you like, post some iPad ideas if you're a teacher with iPads, post about Chromebooks if you have Chromebooks, um, and share some ideas because collaboration is only fun if everyone participates. So there's Flipgrid, have fun with it, and let me know if I can help. Be watching in level two, I'll go through how to set up your admin page and um, add your own, and how to get your students using Flipgrid, um, because we want to be really careful of their personal privacy. All right, have a good day, talk to you later.